I mean, I don't understand you LA guys because you will start cussing on the first phone call with a woman. You know, like the S word and the F word. I mean, at least a Southern man will wait until you cook him something. <laughs> and then we meet you in person, okay? And so I meet this guy, does he say, oh, Miss Laura, you look nice. No, he walks up to me and in front of God and everybody starts yodeling. Yodely hee hoo. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Yodel back? <laughs> but truthfully, I have a little empathy for the man because, well, Miss Laura has quite the reputation for her hog calling skills. <laughs> see we, see we, see we, see we. <laughs> but never on a first date. <laughs> That's fourth date territory if you want magic like that, you know. <laughs> but we all meet at Starbucks, right? Yeah, I'll go to Starbucks, and it is amazing to me how many men think that I will go home and have sex with them for the price of a cup of coffee. <laughs> I mean, at least Southern men, you know, their daddies raise them right. They're like, son, you pay for that girl's $8.99 special at Denny's. <laughs> Salisbury steak, gets them every time. <laughs> Salisbury steak, I mean, come on, that's good stuff, guys, you know. See, people in LA, y'all don't get Salisbury steak because you're all about being healthy. You know, you got healthy restaurants and healthy grocery stores, and I don't get that because in the South, we just eat crap <laughs> and lots of it. Honey, you have not had all five food groups till you've had a moon pie. <laughs> Deep fried. Yum. Of course, now every woman in this room is looking at me going, oh, moon pie, that is horrible because y'all are on diets and y'all are miserable. <laughs> but you know what, ladies, I'm gonna make your week. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make your whole year because I'm gonna tell you the secret to the universe. Men will forgive you your big butts if you got a decent rack. <laughs> Am I telling the truth? It's so. And we don't need surgery, we just need to eat something. I mean, I used to be one of them skinny girls because I thought, oh, well, men like that, you know, and I started eating three meals a day, and bam, there they were. <laughs> I love food now. I love food so much that instead of calling these the girls, I named this one BK and this one KFC. <laughs> of course, that probably explains why every time a man starts kissing on me, all he can think about is chicken. <laughs> Got a leg in there, baby? It's like, rude, rude.